It's your boy, Lieutenant Dan, here with a college film breakdown of Jalen Ferguson or Jalen Sag Daddy Ferguson. Um, this will be my first of 2019. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And make sure that you comment in the comment section uh, to see more film of Jalen Ferguson. If you comment down there and we get enough likes, I will do another Jalen Ferguson film. But this one will be of some of the things that he's done well and some of the things that I don't like. Uh, during the LSU game and I want to start with the film that makes the most sense like the LSU or the Mississippi State film um, that is power five competition and then start to watch some of the games that are of lesser competition I know Jalen Ferguson himself said that doesn't matter the level of competition if you're working and you're doing well then that should speak for itself and you know us in the film industry or you know, in the film community, watching college film, we know that that is fact. That film does not lie. If you're whooping up on guys that are projected in the top of the draft, and then you're also whooping up on guys at the lower level or at the mid level, or you're whooping up on some unknown talent and dark horses, or you're whooping up on just whooping, you know, then it's fine. That's fine. I don't have any problem with that. I will say this though, that Jalen Ferguson has a couple of little things. First of all, really quick, 6'4", 256, down from 280 in 2017. So uh, all of 2018, he played at 256 or, or around that number, 262. But in uh, 2017, he was 280 pounds. Um, and they call him Sack Daddy because he had 17 and a half sacks last season, 2018. So let's get to this film. This is one part of it that I wanted to show you. Uh, where his bend is just tremendous. I love Jalen Ferguson's bend. And it's not common enough. You know, it's not it's not something that he does every single time. Look at that. Whew. Right inside. Good interior pressure, too, by number 99. But we ain't watching film on him. We're watching on number 45 here. And Jalen Ferguson, he knows how to get to the quarterback. Like, just watch this bend, throw the arm up underneath. You know, I love that stuff. Um, the tackle actually comes out a little too wide. You could have counter moved that right about there. You could have countered that with a spin, um, or you could have ripped him if you had not committed so far. This running back is supposed to be chipping this and instead takes on the late blitz. Uh, but Jalen Ferguson, man, he, he can show that to you. He can show that to you. I don't know how good this LSU right tackle is, but he gets demolished by Jalen Ferguson. Like, right up inside there. And and people are talking about him in the Senior Bowl right now and how great he is. Let's watch him here from the close-up angle. You see him with that ball get off right up underneath. Doesn't get arced. Pushes his guy right out of the way. Gets to the quarterback. And that was just a good blitz call, too. But... Jalen Ferguson shown what he does best, which is get to quarterbacks, sack quarterbacks. Now, right after that, I want to show you this play where he just kind of hum dee dum ho dee do de dum And this is something that is common on Jalen Ferguson tape where he's just sitting up there and he's watching a guy go away from him and he's not giving chase with 100%. I don't care if you just got a strip sack, fumble, Big time stop. Give me 100%. And that is not 100%. That's lackadaisical. That is laziness. Um, I don't care how tired you are. Be running. Tack McKinley shows it all the time. Look at that. That's just, come on, man. Seriously? Here's another move that I wanted to show you from Jalen Ferguson. He comes in here. He's got pretty long arms. And his first step off the ball is, is pretty good. It allows him to be able to get straight up and see those long arms hand fight push a guy out of the way and collapse a pocket that's another thing that Jalen Ferguson I think really attracts a lot of teams to that style of play when he's able to get off the ball and then make his first touch here um, drive a guy backwards and then re-engage and push him towards the outside while he dips inside is just something that's very special that you don't see from a lot of the defensive ends in this class. A lot of the guys in this class are speed rushers. 
So uh, it's kind of a change of pace with a guy like Jalen Ferguson who's able to get a, um, a power rush and hand fight into the pocket and collapse it and then cause a quarterback to have to look somewhere else. And then you create pressure from somebody um, following up from that. Here's a, another look and reason why Jalen, Jalen Ferguson is just a lot of fun because watch him just push this right tackle into the pocket here. I, I love it. He's going to take 76. He's just going to drive him into the pocket, collapse it. The quarterback's going to fall on the ground. Um, again, he's got powerful, powerful arms, powerful legs, knows how to drive into the pocket. And I would almost say that you know, when you engage right here and you start trying to bend outside and then you push a guy straight up into like square of his chest and push him into the pocket. That's something that teams will desire. They will go, oh, look at that. Look at those, you know, little instances where Jalen Ferguson is just absolutely dominating a guy. That's going to be attractive to a team somewhere in the second or third round. Really is. It's going to be incredibly attractive. Now, he can obviously up that stock, but just from this LSU game and just from these last few clips, I'm not going to put too many clips in here because I don't feel like it would justify anything. It would just me be like, it would just be me rambling on. But Jalen Ferguson shows you that kind of power, bend, um, spotty kind of flashes of, of a really good pass rush. Um, and then other times, and I'll show it to you on some more film if we get support for it. Other times, you know, um, Jalen Ferguson just kind of disappears from the game and kind of trots around the field and um, doesn't show you a lot. But this kind of stuff right here is going to attract the team. It really is. And I hope the best for Jalen. I really do. Um, but if you guys like this film breakdown, let me know if you guys like this film breakdown. Again, just that drive. God, so good. I wish he would show that every down. It would be awesome. But um, Jalen Ferguson, man, uh, just some of the stuff that he was able to do in this LSU game. I wanted to make this kind of short, show some positives on him because there's been plenty of uh, negative talk. You can see some of the little plays that I'm showing you now that, uh, you know, just meh kind of stuff. Um, you know, some football IQ problems here and there, like he's thinking too much or something. But uh, let me know in the uh in the comment section below uh if you guys want to see more jalen ferguson tape or if this was enough to kind of convince you one way or another about who he was um my name is lieutenant dan this was a uh, college film breakdown first of 2019 we will be doing more of these they will be they, they will be getting better so don't you worry your little head uh about what we're going to be doing it's going to get better and better and better um make sure that you like subscribe Hit that notification bell. Uh, make sure you comment in the comment section what you think about Jalen Ferguson, what tape you would like to see on him. Um, I think people have been talking about Mississippi State uh, tape, talking a little bit about that here or there. Um, but just let me know, and I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Peace, hair grease, rise up, stay grounded.